The Senate and the House of Representatives on Thursday passed the 2.17 trillion Naira 2023 supplementary appropriation bill after a third reading. Before the passage of the bill, the Senate adopted the report of the harmonized sittings of both the Red and Green Chambers on the 2023 supplementary appropriation bill as submitted by the chairman of the Appropriations Committee, Senator Solomon Olamileko of the APC. The bill expeditiously scaled readings in both upper and lower chambers as lawmakers say it was for the benefit of the country. President Bolatinobo had written the National Assembly seeking the approval of the sum of 2.17 trillion naira as the 2023 supplementary budget to address labor, wage adjustments, security and more. But joining us to look at the issues around the supplementary budget is Sheye Adjoa, an economic expert. Thank you very much for joining me, Mr. Sheye. Now, what do you think of the reactions that the supplementary budget has generated? Um, actually, it's a continuous practice in Nigeria to always have um, supplementary uh, budgets. And, um, when you look at the situation in the country currently, um, you will understand why you know um, it is inevitable to have a um, supplementary budget. Uh, one of such is the issue of um, the 35,000 Naira palliative that the federal government has approved with all the um, um, revenue posts um, staff of the federal government. That was not in the budget. And because of the situation of things, the uh, federal government had to increase uh, his workers' and salary. They are working on that. But while it is taking time, the federal government decided to you know, give a palliative of 35K each for the next um, six months to cushion the effect of things that are on ground. Um, not only that, you know, um, with the new government in place, definitely, you know, there will be some addition here and there to things that are already in the country. You know, um, there are issues, you know, especially in the area of security that needs to be taken care of, and these are the issues, you know, that um, call for the. Um, the supplementary budget. All right now, the 2024 budget will soon be submitted by the executive. Um, so, what are your ideas on how this business should be handled from the executive to the legislature? Actually, uh, the, the way to be angry is the way it is laid down in the law, which I believe um, the government are following. You know, is once you see that there is need, you know, to make um, a supplementary budget, all the normal annual budget um, the executive arm of the government we sit down you know uh, harmonize from all the mdas and you know get a budget prepared which i'm part of the um, body because i'm part of the body that normally do training for all the mdas for starters in nigeria on you know the preparation of budget uh, this year, I don't need to start revealing where I was, but you know, it's a normal procedure, and um, I think the that procedure is laid down in the constitution, and that is what the government of the day is also following. All right, Sheya Jumwa, economist, thank you very much for lending your thoughts.